We're about ready to uh, turn it over to Reverend Stephen. Hallelujah. We have been, uh, well, I first heard Dr. Dufresne almost 40 years ago. In 1980, my first year at Raymond, probably within the first month I was there, he came and spoke uh, for actually a thing they had, a thing called Share and Praise. We didn't normally have speakers, but he came and spoke. And so, but we got more connected. Uh, he used to come to a church my wife and I met at mm -hmm. regularly and come to Chicago for many years doing faith conventions with people like, uh, well, people like Lester Summerall and, mm -hmm. and others. Uh, so we've known him for quite a few years, but we started going to, I think Dr. first came to our church in 1992. And we started going to California that year and then we, my wife and I were, or it took us a while to realize where God was connecting us. I hate to say that, but some of you are just like that. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I mean, we knew, we knew we were, we knew kind of there was a connection, but we were going out there regularly, but it wasn't until 2001 that we were ordained. And we've been going for a long time and we love the passion. Ordained by the Dufresnes. Yeah, we were ordained by others, but uh, you know, it's good to be connected to the yeah, right place. Yeah, so yeah. we love the Dufresne family. Amen. We're glad that uh, Pastor Morgan could come, Reverend Amen. Stephen. We've had it in our, our heart to have him. We've known, I've known for a while. Sometimes the Lord lets me know way in advance, and yeah. we just wait for the right time. And this year, uh, you're probably aware that as our, our 30th year, te Amen. technically will be in September, but we're in our 30th year. And so we've got five speakers, 20 services Amen. for 2020. Amen. And two... He's the first two. I said he's kicking the thing off. He's set, he is setting the pace for the remaining the remainder of the year for us. And then we've got Richard Roberts in May, Pastor Nance for five services. Pastor Nancy's coming uh, in July for three services. Uh, let's see, September Dr. Jacob is, Jacobs is coming for five services, and then in November Randall Greer is coming for five services. So twenty Hallelujah. services, but only thirteen extra meetings, guys. From Sunday or Wednesday, only 13 extra. So you know what? We're, you got the whole year yes. planned out. Amen. Don't be taking your sick days <laughs> and wasting them or your vacation days going everywhere but where God yes. Amen. wants you to be. Amen. You, know? Amen. you know, sometimes we have the wrong priorities. That's right. yeah. we, gotta, we bring in speakers. Not, hey, we've got a family of preachers. Amen. We're not tired of preaching. It's That's not like right, we need yeah. a, oh, I need a break. We'll bring in a guest speaker. We bring in <laughs> guest speakers. One, we pray and we say, Lord, we don't want to have someone in we're not supposed to have, even if they're good. We want to have the right people Amen. at the right time. That's right. Because there's a lot of great ministries out there. You can't have guest sure. speakers every week. Yeah. You know? But we're, so we've got five scheduled this year we got a family of preachers my gosh we we need more services we don't need more speakers <laughs> but we, we we're setting up for revival because amen. we got enough preachers to have two meetings a day for, until right. jesus comes amen. Right. Amen. the more you preach the more you get in the flow but anyway uh, i'm going to read a verse to you before i introduce uh, reverend stephen and it's a verse uh second chronicles 20 20 New King James says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Yes. Yes. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. Right. One translation says, Believe, and I don't remember which translation it is, but it says, Believe his inspired man. Amen. Anyone who is in a fivefold ministry is, maybe they're not a prophet, they may, they may or, or may not be a prophet. But if they're in the fivefold ministry, they're called by God, they're ordained by God, and they are the inspired man. And when you believe the ins you believe in the Lord your God, you'll be established, and you believe His inspired man, and you'll prosper. Right. Some people are not prospering because they're not listening to their inspired man. Right. So yeah. this morning, even though we've had a couple of inspired men and inspired <laughs> ladies sharing or speaking or you know saying something, the He is the inspired man. Amen. And for the rest of the service. Amen. And so you Amen. believe in the Lord you, that you'll be established, but you believe the inspired man yes. and you'll Amen. prosper. See, we, we need the ministry gifts yes. I, as wonderful as my wife and I are, and we are wonderful. Yes, you are. Amen. As wonderful as we are and yes, our family, yes. we need other 
anointings. Yes. We need other yeah. giftings yes. in the body of Christ. So we are Amen. we are looking forward to what God has. And you know, when we first scheduled this meeting, which wasn't all that long ago, mm -hmm. I mean, I asked, I talked to Reverend Stephen in January and said, "Hey, do you have a card?" You know, <laughs> and talked to Pastor Nancy. <laughs> and so, we, but we actually just scheduled it just what maybe a month ago or something like that. Pretty recent. And so I was excited because I knew the Lord was in it. I knew it was the Lord. Yeah, yeah. But then as it's been as it's been getting closer and closer, I find myself I'm I'm getting more excited about <laughs> these meetings. And so because this is his first time here, some of you have never heard of maybe many of you probably have seen him on live stream. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But there might be some that haven't. Don't take half the message to check him out and try to figure him out and see if he's, if he's legit. He's legit. We wouldn't have him here otherwise. You gotta, tr you gotta trust your pastor. If your pastor has someone in, then there is a blessing for you. God has a word for you. It may not be a thus saith the Lord, but he really he has a word from his word for you. But if, you're, if you don't have ears to hear, you won't get it. You will miss it. So I want you to open your hearts to receive the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ through Reverend Stephen Dufresne. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I guess I'm legit. Man, praise God for that. I'm so, so excited to be here with you guys. I've been just meditating on the word for the last week. It's been raining at home, so I'll go home early and I'll get in the word and Amen. start asking the Lord what he wants to do. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. We lift you up, Father. We thank you, Father, for everything you're doing in our lives. We praise you, Father. And Father, I am your servant. And I am at your will to do what you want to do, not of my own. We love you, sir. And I thank you, Father, as I preach your word, healings are happening yes. this morning yes. as I'm preaching the word. People are getting revelation in your word that they've never seen before. Amen. New revelation, new openings <laughs> into their spirit. Father, I ask you to open their spirits to see your word in a new light. Yes. And that it makes sense to them. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You may be seated. What an honor to. I always count it an honor to be in any church I go to. And I count it an honor to be a servant of the Most High. And what do servants do? They serve. And if you don't serve, then you're not a servant. And so I always ask the Lord, I say, Father, what do you want me to do? Not what I want to do, but what do you want to do? And he really didn't give me a lot. So I knew he was going to be telling me what to do when I got here. Amen. I kind of knew a direction. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm so honored to have this family in my life. Yes. They've been there. Just they're, they're just kind of part of the, you know, the framework. It's yeah, like the Millers have always been there, you know. It's not like, oh look, a new, a, a new. It's just like you know, like the Millers. That's yeah, the Millers. You know, they're just there. They're there. And uh, praise God for people that are just part of the. They're just, they're just part of the landscape. Yeah. Those are your steady people. Yes. Yes. You know. Yes. And um, I honor those people that uh, have honored us and my family and my father. Yeah. And uh, they mean a lot to us. And we've been able to help the, the <laughs> yes. Tim. Yes. The yes. Yes. All them. And Jesus. I didn't really straighten them out. But yeah, so I, I never got involved with the Bible school too much. It's not my rigmarole. That I don't deal with young people. They, they, they don't seem to listen very well. So. <laughs> I kind of. Is that right, Tim? <laughs> So I said, you know what, I'm just going to stay back and do my thing, and you guys try to work on these people. <laughs> but, amen, God is good, and uh, God is good, he's still on the throne, he's healed us, he has a supply for us, and we can't forget that, amen. The Word of God, this book, 
It's pages. Yes. But it's not about the pages. Come on. Yeah. It's about what's written on the pages. That's right. Come on. Come on now. Uh, in America, the Constitution is written on a piece of paper, but it's not about the paper. That's right. right. Yeah. It's about what's written on it yeah. that right. has the power. Yeah. That's, That's why we are continuously free. We have a right to say what we want. We have a right to bear arms. And if it wasn't written, where would this country be right now? That's right. Yeah. Because it wasn't. Because it is written. Yes. We're able to keep those things. That's good. At bay. That's good. Amen. What is trying to be robbed from us? That's good. The Constitution says that we have a right to serve God That's right. in the way that we want to serve That's God. Right. Amen. And you can't tell us different. That's right. And they've tried, but that Constitution blocks. Yeah. Yes. What they're trying to do. Amen. In the word of God, and if you don't know your rights, sure. then you're a victim. That's True. right. Come on. Amen. That's right. Come on. If you don't know what belongs to you Come on. as an American Amen. or as a Christian, Amen. the devil will rob from you. That's Come right. on. Right. Amen. Amen. There is a, um, in this nation, we have a law, many laws, too many laws in my opinion. <laughs> I know some are... Protect some people, and some are just nonsense. Amen. But if you don't know the law, you become a victim to the law. That's right. And someone else will use the law to their advantage That's right. to take you out. Yes. Is that right? Yes. If you start a business, can you just go down and put a sign in front of a place and open any kind of business? No. 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 You got to go get a business license. You got to get insurance. You got to go get all these things. And if you don't do those things, yeah. you become a victim yeah. to the circumstance. Yeah. You become a victim yeah. to the world, and they will eat you up yes. and spit you yes. out. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And if Christians don't know the word of God, Come on. Come on. they don't know what belongs to them. That's right. They don't know what the word says about a situation. They become a victim. And the devil will eat them up and spit them out. Mm, that's that's true. True. Yeah. That's good. In many churches, I say that with reverence. I, I, I want everybody to know the, the word of God. Mm -hmm. But in the word of God, there is power. And the Bible says that my people perish for what? Yeah. A lack of knowledge. Yeah. That's why they're perishing. That's why they're failing. That's why they believe what they call faith failures. Right. There's no such thing as a faith failure. Right. It's you failed because you weren't doing faith. That's right. That's right. Faith, to, to say that faith fails is saying that God's word isn't true. That's right. And so to say a faith failure is very dangerous because you're calling God a liar. That's right. There's been things that I've not understood I was believing for and I didn't understand why it wasn't coming to pass, but it's because of my ignorance. That's right. Amen. And I say, Father, I'm ignorant. You need to show me. Right. Yeah. Maybe I don't understand the things I believe for. I don't know why they're not coming to pass. Right. right. But Father, I'm ignorant. Yeah. Amen. And that goes back to the law that there's laws that are set in place and you are ignorant until you learned about it. That's right. That's right. Oh, I get it. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see how that works. So we can't be ignorant. Right. We have to know. And if you're continuously ignorant, it's because you're not getting into the word and finding out what belongs to Amen. you. That's right. Amen. Amen. And when you learn a thing, you have to apply it. That's yeah. right. Amen. That's right. That's why in our church, we have some very good lawyers. Anything that we do is ran through the, you know, through attorneys and all that stuff because we want to do it correctly. That's right. We don't want to be ignorant in things, just, oh, you know, just be stupid about it. And then. That's right get backlash later. So we always try to do things the correct way. Right. But you have to do things correct to get the results. That's right. Amen. Amen. You have to have the correct insurance for the correct thing. Right. Yeah. You have to have all this stuff straightened out in your life. Right. You can't just assume that everything's great and dandy yeah. when a tornado comes and they say, I'm sorry, you had earthquake insurance, not tornado insurance. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought I had insurance. Yeah, you just, you thought wrong, buddy. Yeah. You, you know how this goes. Insurance will try to get out of anything. Yes, anything. Amen. Trust me, I know about it. Amen. We've dealt with it. Yeah. And it's amazing the lengths they'll go to Right. To dismiss your case. That's right. Wow. Wow. That's right. I don't care what you've paid into it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. They'll try to take it from you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. 
And so that's why it is so important for us as Christians to continuously stay up on the law of the word. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because we need to be full so we know what to say Amen. when times come. Amen. Amen. That may the devil try to get us and we're ignorant. Yeah. Amen. Don't be ignorant. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, don't be ignorant. Don't, don't be ignorant. Be ignorant. <laughs> we don't want to be ignorant. We, we, we want to be fluent in the things that God has for us. Amen. Amen. But what a better time right now than to talk about healing. Yes. Amen. You know, we see in the church world, and one thing I don't do, I never judge a church for not, for not having church for a situation like this, because they need to do to their level of faith. Amen. And if they don't have the faith that to have a church or whatever their government says or their state, whatever, they need to do what they feel in their heart is at their faith level. That's right. Amen. But when I heard about this whole thing and it started really just getting really hyped the last yeah. couple days, yeah. 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 I, I knew what the Bible says. That's right. Yeah. And I know what the Word of God says. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I know the places that Jesus went. Yes. Right. And the places that Jesus and the and the people that Jesus touched. That's right. yeah, and I knew what the word of God said about my situation and about my house. That's right. Amen. I know what it says. That's right. Amen. I always endeavor to learn more about healing. You can never exhaust the, the subject of healing. Amen. That's right. We, we, That's right. we need this is why we always need to be studying on the fact of healing. Yep. My family is naturally a healthy group. Now, there has been some times that I've had situations yeah. that I wasn't expecting some things in my body, mm -hmm. and I realized how much I hate sickness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because it, 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 it chokes you. Yes. Yeah. Sure. It hinders of what you can accomplish mm -hmm. in life. That's right. It's a thief. Yes. Yes. It steals you. Amen. It steals what you can accomplish. Yeah. Yeah. But because of our ignorance as the body of Christ, we've allowed it to continue. Yes. Right. Yeah. Or we just don't want to fight. Right. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Right. And, you know, when it comes to healing, we, we have to fight for what we believe. That's Amen. good. You have to fight it. You have to make up your mind that you're not going to let the devil. Because sometimes I, I didn't feel like fighting. I, I was discouraged. Right. Right. Sure. I'm discouraged. You know, why is this coming on me? What? And, and you start getting mental. Right. And yeah. you start thinking about it. Yeah. And you don't like because you're, you're hurting. You're, but I'm a child of God. But right. I'm all this. But I'm a servant. Yeah. Right. Well, you know what? That's what we're going to talk about this morning. Amen. Amen. And we're going to talk Amen. about the Word of God. And one thing I never do with, with churches, I made up my, my mind a long, a long time ago. I say a long time ago. I'm not that old. But <laughs> a couple of years ago, I made up my mind that I will not have an opinion about another church. It is not my business. You didn't hear from God what God told them, so you shouldn't have your opinion about it. Oh, and if God. they decide that they don't want to have church... That's fine. Amen. Don't have church. That's right. Yeah. But you need to stay out of it and say, well, I wonder why they don't. You better not. Because why? Because that same judgment, what does it do? Comes, it comes back to you. Yeah. 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 So for us, even though they, they were at, asking me about the service for our church, and I said, well, I know that Jesus is a healer. Yeah. And that Jesus wouldn't have canceled church. Yeah. That's true. Right. And so, but that's for me. And that's for our church. Amen. And I know that's the same for this church that's this true. morning. Amen. And so I know it's important. People need to have somewhere to go. Yes, People need to have it. And, and if they're too scared to come out, then you better not come out. Right. <laughs> because your faith isn't there to get in your car and drive across town. Amen. To your measure of faith, be it unto you. Yeah. Unto you. Right. Amen. 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 So... You have to get enough faith to get out the house, put the fear down, yeah. put the fear down, Amen. and come. It's good. Amen. 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 That's right. Praise God. Amen. So, we know that this is not just a bunch of pages, no. but it is the written word of God yeah. that is a law that God placed. And he said, if you will do these things, it will manifest in your right. life. Amen. And I expect the manifestation in my life. Do you? Amen. If you got your Bible, turn it up to Isaiah 53. Isaiah 
53. Let's go to verse 3. Now, one of the most wonderful things about this part that I, that I, I get out of it is this is a prophecy. Yes. It hasn't even happened yet. That's right. It's good. Yeah. It hasn't even happened yet. That's right. That's right. And it's a prophecy that Isaiah the prophet gave Amen. about the Messiah, Amen. about Jesus coming. And if you read it, it's pretty darn close to everything exactly what Jesus did. That's right. Amen. Yeah. So the people knew that they had a Messiah coming yeah. and he was going to be crucified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They knew it. They knew it. Yeah. And they yeah. still continued to the T. Did somebody not bring the scrolls and say, you know what, this guy you're killing? Sure sounds a lot <laughs> like what he's saying here. But nobody did. Because it was written. You're going to. This is what's going to happen. And to me, I would have been like, hey, this sounds a lot like that one verse <laughs> that says that the king is coming, but all these things are going to happen. But they were blind. They were blind. Because they continued, really, to be partially satanic. In a lot of ways. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Amen. Amen. Sure. Isaiah 53 3. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquitted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despi uh, despised and we did not esteem him. Surely he had bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yeah. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Remember, this is a prophecy given. Yes. 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 He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by, let's say it together, by his stripes we are healed. What stripes? The stripes on his back that were ripped yes. open by the whip that was strung across his back. It's not about the stripes. It's about what the stripes brought. Yes. What did it bring when the, when the stripes were given? The blood. The blood was ripped from his back for what? To cover the sins and sicknesses of this world. They said he was whip so bad that they could see his internals. Right. That means yeah. the back of his lungs yes. were showing. Yep. Whatever back parts his ribs were yeah. showing, mm -hmm. yeah. this was prophesied that the Messiah was coming and you were going to beat the devil out of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You were going to bust his back open. Right. Wow. And this is the blood that is shed for you and me, Amen. for this day, coronavirus, whatever other virus, right. Right. any flu virus, right. it is covered because Amen. the stripes broke it. Amen. The stripes, Amen. because the blood by his stripes, Amen. we are healed. Amen. You have to, sometimes when you're by yourself, this may not sound that arousing. <laughs> you can read it. <laughs> And it doesn't sound that arousing, right. but you have to stop your mind. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. You have to stop your mind and work yourself up in this. That's right. Yeah. And say, no, it belongs to me. Because what is happening throughout the United States, we are seeing it through the world a fear factor coming in. Yeah. A fear factor that is coming in yes. and it's impregnating into everybody. That's right. And people are running with it. They have masks on. They have all the stuff. And you know what? If they need to do that, then you need to do that. Yeah. Whatever you got, you got to do, you do it. But what I'm saying for us, we are seeing how sickness goes through a community or goes in this, fact, in this way the world is so connected through the yeah, whole world. Right, right, right. right. But we have to remember that we have a higher power. That's right. And this morning, I want to kind of show you in the word, and I want to show you some things about situations that may not be to our comfort. Right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The ministry is not always comfortable. That's right. Amen. Amen. We want everyone to be healed, but that's not the case. Right. A lot of people are sick. That's right. Yeah. A lot of people are sick. That's right. Yeah. But Jesus said, 
that I've healed you. That's right. right. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. And he also said, the Bible says that my people perish yeah. for a lack of knowledge. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. And I always remember that. Yeah. I don't know everything. That's right. That's good. I don't know everything. Yeah. yeah. That's right. yeah. And I need knowledge. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Write that down. Amen. I don't know everything. Right. I need knowledge. Yeah. Amen. 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 And it's important once you realize you don't know everything. Yeah. And you need knowledge. You get into the word and you find out the things you didn't know. That's right. Amen. You seek answers. Absolutely. You seek answers. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. There's breakthroughs in science that came from thousands of years of research yeah. that yes. have recently been done. Yes. I mean, let's think about it. People used to think the earth was flat. Yeah. And <laughs> if you disagree, they killed you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they just thought, you know what, the earth's flat. But we, even though the moon's round and the sun's round and Mars is round and all these other ones, <laughs> the earth's flat. <laughs> <laughs> And we still have some people yeah. Yeah. that are trying to prove that the earth is flat. That's okay. I mean, you, you want to believe what you want to believe. Yeah. But, so for thousands of years, people thought the earth's flat. And if you go to, if you, far, if, if you sell too far, you'll fall off. Right. And yeah. through the abyss. And that's you'll be gone right. forever. That's right. But that's not the case. That's right. That's not the case. Right. So all these years, and finally someone said, hey, the earth's round. And they go. I guess there's Ron. <laughs> so all of a sudden, we've had a breakthrough. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. A breakthrough yeah. in, in science. We've had breakthroughs in science where germs were transmitted. You know, if you had a hole in your gut from being shot, they just dug it out with their finger. You know, right. there's no sanitary stuff. And then one day someone said, hey, I think there's germs or something on this finger. And they go, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> germs? What are you talking about? You shut your mouth. <laughs> Maybe we need to sterilize our hands. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we shouldn't be touching that. Yeah. <laughs> and this is all from thousands of years sure. yeah. of progress, of yeah. learning. Yes. Yeah. And we will continue to learn until we rapture it up. Yeah. <laughs> but we have breakthroughs in science. But you can have breakthroughs in the Word of God. Yeah. Maybe somebody else Come has on. the breakthrough for them, yeah. but you have to get it for yourself. Come on. Yes. Yes. Your pastor can't get your breakthrough. Yes. Right. That's good. Tim can't get your breakthrough. Yes. Yes. Tim's got to get his breakthrough. That's right. I got to get my breakthrough. Yes. You got to get it for yourself. That's yeah. good. As much as we would like someone else to do it for us. Uh huh. Yeah. That'd be great if someone could get my breakthrough for me. Amen. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd be right. great. But it's not going to happen. No. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. You've got to press into the Word of God. Amen. You have to find out what the Word of God says for you. Yes. yes. Stop the fear. Amen. Amen. Stop the fear. Yes. Amen. Stop the fear. Yes. Stop the fear. Yes. Many, many Christians around the world are very scared right now. Right. Yeah. But it shows a lack of faith. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. It shows a lack of faith. Yeah. Yeah. It shows a lack of faith mm -hmm. in the Word of God. Yes, did you know that same fear, fear tried to get on me? Yeah. Don't touch sure. that. Sure. What's going to happen? Oh, you just popped a zit? That's actually cancer. That's yeah. cancer. Yeah. You got cancer? You got cancer? And those same thoughts come to me as they do everybody else. Sure. Yeah. You got a bump? Is that a bug bite? Right. And, and Satan go, cancer. <laughs> You're going to die. <laughs> And it's up to me what I say in response to yes. it. Come on. No, it's not. I rebuke that. Amen. I rebuke that. Or do you go, well, maybe it is. I don't know. And then you start this mental ascent into, and what happens is you start thinking about it more and more. And before long, you're thinking, you're, you're doing a Google search. <laughs> a lump on my head. You know what's gonna say? You're surely gonna die within 48 hours. <laughs> it's, over. it's over for you. It's over. Hope you have all your your estate in order. Don't do it. Amen. Don't do it. Right. Amen. Amen. You have to. You have to understand the word of God and take it for its word. Right. You have to take the word of God at its word. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And yeah. some of us can't. Can't get through that, you know, we're yeah. too stinking mental. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I've been victim to it as well. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not God. Amen. 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 So Jesus, let's go down to, to verse, uh, let's go to 6. I'm going to read some, I don't know if I'm going to read all of it. All we like sheep having gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquities of all of us. Mm -hmm. He's laid it on. Amen. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Mm. Why did not he open his mouth? Because it is written. Mm. It's written that he was supposed to come and take. Yeah. Because yeah. if he did open his mouth, yeah. That's why he said, I could call on a thousand angels, That's right. and, it'd be, and I'd be out of here. That's right. Right. And you would never have been saved. That's right. You would not have sickness lifted from us. That's right. But he said not a word. That's right. Why? Because it is written. That's right. It's written that he would not open his mouth. Mm -hmm. Why do you think Jesus was in the garden sweating blood? Yeah. yeah. And he said, if this, pass, if this cup may pass from me. Yeah. Why is he saying that? Because he knows what he has to do. Right. Yeah. He knew from the time he was born. That's right. This is what he was meant to do. Yeah. He was meant to take sickness mm -hmm. from, the, from the midst of us. Yes. And he died that you and me may go to heaven. Amen. Yes. Amen. That that curse, when he came on this earth and he died on that cross. Thank you, Lord. It is written. And that's, I'm, I'm jumping ahead here, but... It is written that he was supposed to come yeah. to take what you and me were supposed to have. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Right. Yes. So to continuous, continuously be sick mm -hmm. is really a terrible thing yes. for us to yes. after because it's already been paid for. That's right. Right. It's already been paid for. Amen. 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 You can ha you may have to pay taxes <laughs> that you weren't even supposed to yeah. pay. But because of your ignorance, right. yeah. you didn't know the law and know you could opt out of things. Right. Yeah. Isn't it true? If you have a child, you have to submit yeah. that you have a child. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. But if you don't submit you have a child, yeah. Yeah. you're going to pay for it. Because they're supposed to give you some money back. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? right. Yeah. So you have to plead your case and say, no, I have a child. That's right. They claim, yes. It, it, thank you. A claim. Yeah. Yeah. And so when sickness comes on you, come on. Yeah. Come you on. have a claim. To say, come on. You know what? Yes. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I know my right. Yes. Yes. I know my right. Yes. I know what this law says. Yes. And this law says I don't have to be sick. Yes. Amen. I don't have to have disease. Amen. I've been delivered. Yes. I've been delivered. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. Now let's go down to nine. And they, and they made his grave with the wicked. This is true. Yes. This is what happened. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't want to be they. <laughs> the yeah. they is the ones that is killing. That's right. right. Thank God I'm not that they. That's right. <laughs> I'm not the one that crucified you. That's right. and, he, and he made his grave with the wicked. But with the rich at his death... Because he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. And what did it do? Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Amen. He was put to grief. Yes. He was put to grief for you and me. And this is revelation that God had put in here. And you have to apply this to your life Amen. to say, no, because Jesus has died for me. The stripes, that blood was shed, yes. that I don't have to have sickness in my body. Amen. You, you can walk around your house saying this. That's you right. can walk around your house. Even if you don't feel like it, you need, you need to get off, off your rear That's right. Right. and declare, right. That's right. And declare yes. the word of God in your right. life. Amen. 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 Let's go. This is where Jesus was brought before Pilate, and we—I want us to see this 
for ourselves and really bring it before you. I don't know how to say that guy's name. Is it Barbosa or ba uh, Barabbas? Barabbas. 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 Yeah, Barabbas. Okay, you guys get it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we know here that the people were so blinded, yeah. so blinded yeah. Yeah. by what was going on that, mm -hmm. that let's, um, let's go back to 21. I, I told you you go to 23, back up to 21. The governor answered and said to them, now this is Jesus being ready to be crucified. And the governor answered and said to them, which of the two do you want me to release? And he was a, a thief, a robber. Right. And then we had Jesus that was really hadn't done anything. Right. We know he did it. Yeah. But they hated him so much. And they said, uh, Barabbas, that's who we want you to let go. Pilate said to him, What then shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? And they said to him, Let him be crucified. It's written back in Isaiah. Right. He said this was going to happen. That's yeah. right. It said it. Amen. And then the governor said, Why? What evil has he done? Now here's a Roman that is, serves other gods. Yeah. And he looks at this man and has enough insight to know what has he done. At the most, he could have said, this Jesus is kind of crazy. Yeah. I mean, really. Right. That's about all he could say. Right. But there's a lot of crazy people in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and during this time, you have to remember, there was false prophets that people would come and try to um, work the people for money. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, false ministers, yeah. false prophets yeah. and they were dealing with this stuff all the time sure. it was kind of an easy way and we see a lot of that in different countries uh ministers only having churches for money purposes right. and things like that yeah. so we can see how maybe just maybe some of the people were skeptical yeah. because this is a fluent thing people are coming they're going but it was followed with signs and wonders wasn't yeah. it yeah. Yeah. they never seen this before like this yes. right. Right. They had the pool of Bethesda, but just, you know, it was here once in a while when the first person jumped in, you got healed, right. and the rest of you, sorry. That's right. <laughs> you know? So that was about the gist of it. And Jesus comes, and he's doing miracles everywhere. Right. Right. And the Pharisees hate him. They hate him. They hate him. But it's written that this was going to happen. This was supposed to happen. It's written. Amen. He had to do this. And thank God he did. Yeah. Because if he did it, you and me would be in a bad place. Yes. 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 What evil has he done? But they cried out all the more, saying, let him be crucified. Now, you can see the situation Pilate was in. He was governing another land that they have taken, and they're ruling over it. And he is trying to please the people, because if he doesn't, they're going to tear down his temple as well. Right. They're just crazy. Right. Yeah. They've lost their minds. So we can see the predicament he's in. Amen. He doesn't want to do this. But if I don't, they're going to tear everything yeah. apart. Yeah. Right. They're going to burn this whole city down. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. So you can see how this is. He's doing it to please the Jews. Yes. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 That's true. Let him be crucified. Then Pilate saw that he could not, what? Prevail yeah. mm -hmm. at all. So he could have changed their mind. Yes. Because it's written. That's it's right. Written. But rather that there was going to be a rising, right. he took water, and what did he do? Water. He washed his hands of the consequences. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. So we see a, a, a Gentile that serves another God says, you know what? This is on you guys. Amen. And I'm washing my hands, and I'm not going to have any part of it. Amen. Because it's demonic. He knew it's demonic. Right. Yeah. He knew that this was a, a deeper issue. That's right. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So we have to look and see the, what, 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 the, what they were under. They were un, under such satanic ruling. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't do that. Pe normal people don't do this. That's right. right. This is beyond yeah. no, normal. Right. You don't do this to people that haven't done anything. That's right. But it's written. Amen. Right. 
And he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. You see to it. And all the people answered and said, This blood be on us and our children. Wow. Who says that? <laughs> that whatever consequence happened, we'll suffer the consequence and our children's children forever. Yeah. It'll be on them. The demonic. Amen. But it's written. This had to happen, brother and sister. Yes. And to not claim... You can see the struggle that went along with this, that Jesus has died for our, for our sins. He's put sickness under our feet yes. and to not be educated in this. That's right. Amen. We do ourselves such a disservice. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. I mean, who says that? And all the people answered and said, this blood be on us and our children. Mm. My goodness. Such demonic influence. Yes. And then they released Barbarous, whatever his name is, to, to them. They let him go. Been stealing their, their money out of their back pockets. Uh, and they let him go. Yeah. 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 Let him go. Not a problem. Come back out. We can still see. Can't you see when you're filled with the word of God, you can see the world's ignorance? Yes. Yeah. Can you still see it? Yes. I mean, we can still, as we have the word of God. Yeah. And now we're looking out at a new light. We go, this people's nuts. Right. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Right. Yeah. But people, when they don't have the word of God, yeah. this is the stuff they do. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's true. They kill innocent people. Yeah. Right. And they declare this, the curse on them and their children. That's right. It's crazy. Mm. It's crazy. Sure is. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then it goes down and they delivered him. And when they had scourged or beaten Jesus, he was delivered him to be crucified. Mm -hmm. So I want you to see the first part of that, though, that just such a demonic influence yes. about him and that they wanted him dead. But it is written and he knew this had to happen this way. Right. Yeah. It had to happen this way. Amen. Let's go to John 19, 28. I'm getting somewhere. Amen. You don't mind going three hours a day, right? Oh, no. <laughs> you guys lie. I know you lie. You're being nice. You're being nice. I, I'm not going to go three hours. I've never, I've never gone three hours in my life. Now, we know that here that Jesus is now on the cross. He's on his last minutes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> After this, I'm in uh, John 19, 28. After this, Jesus, knowing, knowing what? He knew that all things were what? Accomplished. Accomplished. Yeah. That the scripture might be Fulfilled. Amen. What scripture? Isaiah. Isaiah. Yep. Amen. It was fulfilled. Amen. It was had to happen. Yeah, that's good. It couldn't be. It had to happen. Amen. And he knew it. Okay. That it had been fulfilled. That sicknesses he do. That him dying in seconds later. That everything that you and me have today was at that moment. Right. Yeah. That it was covered. This is part of the, the covenant that you and me walk in. It's that blood of Jesus that, 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 that was shed. I can't get into all the time, nor I do know everything about the blood. I don't know everything about the blood. But what I do know is what I'm sharing with you. Amen. 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 And I'll, I'll never exhaust the word of God. I'll, I'll get more knowledge. Amen. 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 <clears throat> but you, I, I don't believe we can ever exhaust the blood of Jesus. No. Blood is so precious. Amen. It's the lifeline of every living thing yeah. Amen. that has a heart. Amen. Okay. We know even trees have a heart. That's right. Yeah. What, what do they call the middle of it? Yeah. Of a tree? It's called the heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. We know that every living animal has a heart. Yeah. It all, and in that, it pumps what we call liquid blood. 
through our bodies, but our blood is what keeps us alive. Amen. 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 <clears throat> and from the beginning of time, God has made such a substantial thing out of the blood. That's, right. That's why they would right. take the purest lamb yeah. and shed the blood. Amen. Yeah. So and you have to understand a, a part of the blood to understand healing for it, its fullness. That's right. and it, it's not just about him being beat, but it's about the blood that would shed because yeah. it is written in the word of God. Yeah. That's, That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, and that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine, or what they called vinegar, was sitting there. And they filled a sponge with sour wine and put it on a, a, a spear and put it into his mouth. They're still doing just terrible things at this time. So then Jesus had received the sour wine. He said, it is finished. And bowed his head and he gave up the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. It is finished. Yes. Any sickness, it's finished. Amen. Any Amen. disease, Amen. it's finished. Amen. It's finished. Amen. You don't have to have it yeah. because it's yeah. finished. Hallelujah. It is prophesied that Jesus said it is now accomplished. And it's finished. Amen. It's done. Amen. Now he's telling you, now you have to claim it. You have to claim it. You do. You have to claim that blood into your life. That blood that was was shed from the, the stripping of his back when his organs were hanging out of his back. That's probably why they put a robe back on him because all his stuff was hanging out. And he had to hold that cross. It's finished. It's finished. That you and me do not have to have sickness. We don't have to go to hell. That we can be Thank saved. Yes. Amen. 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 It's finished. <clears throat> now, now that we know what belongs to us in a small ma manner. I can't get into the whole Bible. We can't do the whole thing. But now we can see what Jesus has done for us. That he said it is finished. And you have to take the word of God at its word. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you feel like, you know... I don't feel like I have confidence or I don't feel like it's true. You better get more faith. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You better build yourself up. Get yourself in the word of God. There's times when I feel like that's too much. I can't go that far. I back up and I say, Father, help me. Right. I need your help. Amen. Show me in the word of God. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. good. Have you ever been, I know it's not the right thing to say, but have you ever kind of been upset with God or the word of God? Sure. Yeah. I have. Yeah. 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 Sure. <clears throat> Now, uh, come on. let's be honest. The people that you're close with is probably the most people you're going to get most irritated with. Yeah. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. It's true. Yeah. The most people that we're around, we vent to. Yeah. I mean, if you vent to the person at Walmart you, you've never met, then you're on the next level. Like, that's <laughs> next level. <laughs> like you're really in bad shape. <clears throat> but most of the time... You're probably conservative until you get home. Yeah. Oh my God, it's a terrible day and this and that. I've done it. Oh, I do it. I've done it. <clears throat> but when you're in such a close relationship with God, I believe that you can, there's things we don't understand and it, it, it can make you upset. I understand that. But it's in a relationship, what do you got to do even though you lose your 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 stuff. You come back. Yeah. I was wrong. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I apologize. Yeah. Tim, do you do that? Yes. <laughs> you know what? I was wrong. Yeah. And I can see that I was wrong. Yeah. And you can do some halfway apology. You know what? I'm sorry, but you're really not sorry. Right. Yeah. Where's the difference between I'm really sorry and I see what how I was wrong? And we can you 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 can judge yourself by the word of God. Yes. 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 And you can say, you know what? And there's been times that me and my wife, she says, you know what, you do such and such. And I didn't really see it. But I said, you know what, you're right. I can change. I can be different. Yeah. I don't have to think like that. And I don't have to do that to you and get worked up and right. raise yeah. my voice. Yeah. I don't have to do those things. That's good. Yeah. Amen. I don't have to. And I said, honey, I make a, an, an oath to you that I will do everything in my power. And I'll ask the Lord to help me. Yeah. Amen. To not do those things. Anymore. Yeah. To be sincere. 
Yeah. Faith works for sincere people. Yeah. Come on, that's good. that's good. People that are fake, it's not working. Yeah. But I believe when you're sincere, you have passion. And when you have passion, God can work with that's that. Right. Amen. 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 And a lot of people can be half-heartedly when they apologize, but really, on the inside, they're not apologizing. Right. They're doing it just because the other person wants them to. Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever. I'm not going to get into marriage class right now. <laughs> That's like a forever deal, you know. We don't go <laughs> but one thing that <clears throat> I've, there's been some things that I've been pursuing God for for a while and haven't seen the results on. And I just get frustrated. Yeah. Just, just, just get really, you know, uh, I, I get wrapped up in my thoughts and then I, I get in this and, you know, and then I say, but then I come back and I say, Father, I know I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Father, I ask you to forgive me. Yeah. That's right. But Father, help me to understand your word. Mm-hmm. And if there's things I don't understand, right. show them to me. Amen. Yeah. Show them to me. Show, me. show me the things I don't understand. Amen. Amen. You can't be taught something unless you're taught. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, you have to have uh, instructions right. to a certain object that you've never messed with before. Right. Right. right? You need an instructions for the correct way for it to come out. That's yeah. right. 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 <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's why each car, you kind of get the concept of each car, but there's some new cars yeah. that you have to give me a diagram yeah. and instructions how to do this because I don't know how to work on this. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, I like, yeah. I like, I don't like old, old cars, but I do like cars, and I get the gist of combustion, motors, transmissions. I kind of get all that. Yeah. But you know what? I do a lot of research before I jump into a project. Yeah. yeah. I'll get on YouTube and I'll look at this and I'll look at that. Do I have the right tools? Do I have this? Do I have that? Do I have the right torque wrench? Do I have an inch pound torque? Do I have, you know, full pound torque wrench? Do I have all the right stuff? Do I have the gaskets? Do I have all the right stuff I need to complete the project? Mm-hmm. Because right. you could jump into a project and just ruin it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be like, well, I broke that. <laughs> what now? <laughs> but you lack knowledge. Yeah. Because if you know, then you can be successful. Amen. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Knowledge makes you successful. That's Come right. on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So if you don't understand something in the Word of God, yes, the natural man gets frustrated. And we get worked up. But really, we need to step back and say, Father, I need instruction. I need help That's yeah. good. to understand yeah. what you want to accomplish. That's good. I don't understand, but you do. Amen. He knows all things. Yes. He knows what he's got for you. Yes, Amen. he does. And I encourage you not to cut yourself short. Yes. Amen. Don't quit because things aren't working. Don't, don't, don't give up. The reason you don't know is because of lack of knowledge. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> it always comes back to us. Amen. 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 We have many, many testimonies of people that have received uh, many types of different healings. Amen. But what I would like to see is miracles that people have not seen before. That's right. Amen. 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 But I believe that that comes with a high level of faith. You have to have, I mean, we saw that Smith Wigglesworth had Mm -hmm. such a high level of faith and he had some extraordinary miracles. Yes. But it comes from consecration. Yes, Yes. it does. And I said, (laughs) I asked I asked God, I said, Father, do I have that type of consecration? Do I have it for me? Because I, I want to get into things, but I know that there's a time and a place. Mm-hmm. I am young, and I realize I'm young. And I say, Father, whatever is correct in your timing. Right. Mm, that's good. I don't want to be rough, you know, pushed into things and fall short, but I want to do it at your pace. That's right. good. That's right. I want to do things. I believe that some of our older generals in the body of Christ should be stepping into those things yes. b- before a 34-year-old does. Yeah. Right. I understand that. I'm, I'm, I'm not asking for, for a place in that, but I'm asking. I say, Father, I, I want to see it done. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get into Amen. that stuff, Father. Amen. You have to show us. You have to show us. Amen. Because we, we, we go to our level, yeah. but I believe we're not stepping into that, that fullness. Yeah, that's Amen. Right. It's true. Amen. So it's important Amen. that we... Press in and continuously to press into the Word of God to see these things. Amen. Amen. Well, there you go. Okay. Mark 6 5. Mark 6 5. 
Let's back up to uh, 6.3. And we know here that Jesus... Um, let me tell a person something. You know, the world's not going to really accept us. Right. They're not a big fan of us. That's right. They never really have. Right. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. Right. So if someone doesn't like you, it's perfectly fine. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's actually says what's going to happen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even though, but I want to be liked. Yeah. But people like me when they didn't know I was a Christian. And now they know and they don't like me. And that's fine. Right. Yeah. Then let them not like you. Amen. 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 It doesn't matter. <clears throat> All right, verse 6, 3. And we know here that there was such a, uh, if I can say it right, a familiarness or yes. familiarity yeah. with Jesus. Amen. Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph and uh, Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? So why were you offended at him? And let's go down to uh, 4. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own country, among his own relatives, and in his own house. Amen. Now, he could do no mighty work there except that he laid his hands on a few sick folk and healed them. Now, how do you find out? I was looking at this one day. How, did you, how do you find out that you couldn't do no mighty work? Because you try. Right. 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 Um, <laughs> is that true? Uh, How do you know you can't lift 300 pounds? Because <laughs> you try. And I can't lift. So he obviously tried. Right. Because I believe the compassion of, 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 of Jesus yes. would try. Yeah. That's right. Even though he knew, he tried. Yes. Yeah. He tried. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were so familiar. And sometimes we can become so familiar with the Word of God and church and just it's, true. it's become routine it's yeah. true. that we forget yeah. to have enthusiasm and don't get comfortable That's right. with the Word of God. Amen. Because it has to be flowing in us. That, that hunger for the Word of God Amen. is where the power flows. Amen. It doesn't stay in stagnant. Right. It has to be pushing forward. Amen. Amen. He could only heal except that he laid his, what? Hands, Hands. on a few healthy, no. No. sick people right. and healed them. Yeah. So we can see that Jesus is touching sick people. Yes. Yes. And in this day and age, it's not very popular to be touching sick people. <laughs> and you know, it wasn't popular back then to be touching sick people. Yes. Sick people are sick. That's, That's right. right. And I don't want your sickness getting on me. I don't want to be a carrier of what you got. I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be out because they had colonies for sick people that could not be cured out in the wilderness. And they kicked them out because they were fearful and rightfully so. If you don't know the word of God, right. we're going to have to kill you, bro, because you're really sick. <laughs> and you're out here touching everything and spreading your disease. You know, like leprosy was a big thing. Yes. It was a big thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Leprosy was, was a big thing. And at that day and age, I mean, you can see people were always scared because they really didn't have any remedies right. besides some voodoo stuff and some plants and herbs. Right. They really didn't have the medical <laughs> stuff right. that we have today. Right. I mean, it wasn't until, what, 100 years ago that tuberculosis was cured, That's right. in a way. You know, I mean, before that, you know, remember the story with Wyatt, Wyatt Earp and all, all of them and that yeah. one buddy, he's got to go out in Arizona because he's dying of tuberculosis. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I mean, there was no cure. That's right. And you better not cough on me. Right. Because <laughs> that's how it spread. That's right. Amen. So we can see that... Sometimes, naturally, it's uncomfortable to be a blessing to people. That's right. But it's our job as Christians yeah. to know what we have. That's good. And if you don't have the faith to go touch sick people, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be touching sick people. That's right. <laughs> because you don't have the faith yeah. to not get it. Yeah. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Everyone has a measure of faith. And I am a very much supporter to go to your measure of faith. A lot of people don't have faith for a full-blown miracle. 
Right. That's fine. Yeah. But they say, you know what? I can believe for a good recovery. Yes. Then you do that. Yeah. Yeah. You do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, don't, I want you yeah. to get out in a place that you don't belong. Right. Right. You're too stretched. Amen. Yes. Yeah, that's good. You don't really have it in you. Right. Amen. Amen. You have to stir up the word of God. Get it built up in you. I believe every Christian should just walk in health their whole yes. life. Yeah. We shouldn't have to be. Now, that doesn't mean that the devil won't bring it. Because we are prime, wonderful people to bring sickness to yes. through, through Satan's eyes. Yes. He's going to try to destroy us. Yes. Get us down. Get us broken so we can't do what we need to do. Sure. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 Not everything's going to be hunky-dory in life. But <laughs> it, 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 it matters what you do yes. in those times. Yeah. Amen. 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 You know, if you say, you know what, that virus can't touch me. But inside you go, oh, it's going to touch you. <laughs> You're sick now. You just don't know it yet. And you go, am I sick? <laughs> am I sick? But see, this is where faith people say, no, no. that's not true. That's, right. Right. that's not true. That's right. Right. Even though the words come, it matters. Yeah. You got to stop the fear. Right. Right. Stop the fear. That's right. Stop the fear. Right. Amen. 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 Let's go. Mark 16 and 18, 14. Mark 16, let's go to 14. here for a second. Just hold on. All right. 14. Later, he appeared to the seven as they sat at the table. And what did he do? He rebuked their unbelief. You know, it, it's okay to get rebuked. Yes, it is. It's good. We need to be rebuked. We need to have correction. Because when you get rebuked, it's correction. And without correction, you can't stay straight. And if you don't like something and get offended, you better check yourself. You know what? There's times I don't like getting rebuked. Yeah. Right. But you know what? I understand it's necessary. Right. Yeah. He rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart. Amen. Because they did not believe those who had seen after he'd risen. Yeah. And he said to them, go into what? All, All the world. world. And preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes, believes, and is baptized... Will what? Be saved. be saved. How do you know you're born again? You believe. believe. You're born again. Yeah. Because you confess God as your Savior. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That you serve God. And that same, do you get up and go, man, I don't even know if I'm saved today. <laughs> you don't really think about it. No. Right. Why? Because you made a consecration yeah. right. with God at some point in your life. I don't remember when I was saved. I'll be honest. I was raised in the church. So it was kind of like we said, you know, the prayer of salvation all the time. Man. So it was like I'm just raised in it. But there's a day when you say, you know what? I'm going to start walking in that. Yes. Yeah, right. I'm going to start walking in the knowledge that I have. Yeah, amen. But he said, he who believes and is baptized will be saved. The baptism back then was a thing to the public to say, I am a born again Christian. Right. And I am showing it. And I'm making a statement. I'm going down to the river. And I'm going to be washed in the water. To let you see that I'm born again. And now we do it in bathtubs and all that stuff. And all that's fine. Horse troughs. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you get baptized with. The garden hose. Maybe you just fall into the horse trough. Backwards. It doesn't matter. It's a statement. Right. Yes. To say, I am born again. Right. Amen. 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 If you feel power, okay, whatever. You do what you do. I mean, I haven't felt power when I got baptized. That's just reason. But you know what? It was a statement. Amen. It's a statement that we do. Yes. You know, why do we do baptism? Because it's a statement. Yeah. Jesus said. But we can see how back then you didn't have necessarily 
a cell phone or something to send a, con a, a, a contact to proclaim who you were, you went down the river and everybody said, hey, they can go down to, down to the river in white claws and dip themselves. They go, why? Well, let's go take a look. Mm -hmm. This was a big thing back in the day. When there was something going on, yeah. people showed up. Right. Yeah. People showed up to these kinds of things. Yeah. So you can see back then, this was a big deal. Right. So that everybody would know. Amen. And it was partially dangerous yeah. to be baptized because they knew if they wanted to kill you, yeah. they knew who you was. Yeah. And you took an oath of who you were. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the danger in it. Yeah. Right. But that's what faith does. Faith doesn't care yeah. because of who you serve. So they were baptized. But he said, he who believes, believes that he is saved. But he who does, who does not will be condemned. You have to believe you're born again. Yes. It's not about, if somebody came in here right now and just said the words, but didn't believe it, and they didn't want it, they're not born again. Right. It doesn't matter if you said it or not. That's right. It's about the transition in your heart That's to right. say, I'm wrong, Amen. I'm a sinner, yeah. and I commit myself to you, God, Amen. and I'll serve you all the days of my life. It's a commitment with your heart. Yes. Yes. It's, it's not about the words. Yes. Right. You can say, there's no right way to say it. You know, you know, I ask you to come to my heart. Watch me white as snow. You don't have to say the perfect thing. Right. Right. You just have to say, Lord, I live for you. Right. And from this day forward, I serve you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You don't have to say the perfect words. There's no perfect words. Amen. 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 You can say what you want. If you have a memorized deal, you can stay with that. That works for, for everybody. Yes. Sure. Amen. You don't have to have the correct words. It's just a commitment to God. Yes. Yes. I believe that other people in other countries have known there is a higher power. Yes. Yes. And they don't know about God. Yes. They don't know. They've heard about God's uh, but something in somebody's spirit, there has always been a longing yes. Yes. to know God. Yes. Yes. We see where we got off in mankind where we started off good, but then we got off. Yeah. And then we got God's up. Uh, and then they made, you know what, let's make a calf. A cow out of gold, let's worship it. What is it still doing? They still want to serve something. Yeah. Come on. Mankind Come on. was meant to serve the one and only God, right. but the devil has made it perverted yes. and ruined it. Amen. 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 They they ruined it and then they got off and all this other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All this other stuff. Amen. So when you see all this stuff on the history channel and all that stuff, it really all goes back. So we were supposed to be serving a God. That's right. Yeah. A God. They just got off. Yeah. They just got off and they got gods. And now today they say there is no God. Yeah. There's no God. Right. It's not real. It's all just made up. But you know what? I believe these people down inside their spirits yes. long right. for a, a yes. higher yes. call. Because yes. yes. if we don't, then we're nothing but animals. That's right. We're no different. Amen. It's true. That's not true. That's true. Amen. That's right. Yes. Are y'all being helped? Yes. yes. Okay. Let's keep going. In 16. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And those signs, what signs? Those signs will follow those who what? Believe. believe. What signs? In my name will they cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Yeah. They will take up serpents. Now, people have taken that and got off. We know that. Yes. Yeah. They're crazy. <laughs> and if they drink any deadly, it will be by no means hurt them. If you believe that. Right. If you don't believe it, then you're going to get sick. Right. You have to, it says you have to believe. Right. Right. It says all these signs will follow who and what? Right. Those that believe. Right. Amen. Amen. Drink any deadly, it will no, no means hurt them. They will lay what? Amen. Hands on what? The sick, the sick and the what? Recover. recover. Yes. Amen. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. recover. Right. They will recover they will. if they believe. Yeah. Jesus had the same problem. People were not believing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So it's important for us. To always be mindful. Oh my gosh, I'll be in services and I'll look over and I'll see somebody. And I'll be like, just an unction. You need to lay hands on them. And I go, right now is not the best time. 
<laughs> it's not really my deal right now. And I'll go back to the room, and boy, I can't get him on my head. Yeah. I'm just like, oh my gosh. I mean, there's been times I almost drove up oh, 10 hours just to go lay hands on a person because I could because I, I I didn't do it. Because oh. I didn't do it. Yeah. And I said, I mean, there was a guy, and he had um, an ear problem. And uh, we were, I, I was at Brother Copeland meeting, and I knew him. I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar with him. Uh, he's a friend of mine. He's an older gentleman, but older people like me. Yes, <laughs> and, um, Amen. And um, I have a good relationship. He thought I'm, I was like a Gucci kid, and he was like, "Well, I thought you was a Gucci kid." And I said, "No, nah, man, I'm like, I'm like half hillbilly cowboy, and like, you know, old red man, old man, old man. <laughs> like I'm all that." He goes, "Well, I like you." So, he, so when people really find out who I am, they're like, "Well, I really don't like you." That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> and um, but he had some problems with his ear, and boy, and the whole service, and I, I wasn't preaching, and I just had a real unction. You know, and, and it really wasn't the time, you know, I mean, another minister's preaching. So I waited after service and I ran over there because I knew if I did not I'd have to drive to wherever he lives and tell him I was coming. Hey, I need to come pray for you. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Now. So I, I went up. I said, brother, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. I, I, I said, you know, when I was over there, this felt a real unction to pray for you, sir. Can I pray for you? Said, yeah, please. I laid hands on him. And that was it. And that released. Yeah. And I knew I did my part. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you always have to be sensitive to that because yeah. if you don't, you'll yeah. you'll sear yourself yes. Yes, you to will. those things, and before long, God won't use you anymore. That's so yeah. true. So I said, Father, mm -hmm. help me. And so anytime I get that unction, I try to accomplish it as soon as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Good. I, re I, I really don't care what people think. That's good. Amen. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. It's good. Amen. 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 You, are you being helped this morning? Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're, we're about to quote. That's good. In, in about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Preach it. Preach it. Good. Okay. Amen. So 19. So, so then after the Lord had spoken to them, mm -hmm. he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out preaching everywhere. The Lord working with them and what? Confirming. Confirming. I love that word. Confirming yes. the word through the uh, accompanying signs. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's what I want to see is the confirming of the word of God. Amen. Manifest Amen. that nobody. How do you confirm something? It's manifested. Right. Right. It's manifested. It's just, that's how I confirm it. If you fix the car, it, it was broke. Guess what? Now it runs. That's right. So there's a difference from what it was. To what it is now. That's right. You're, you, you confirm and accomplish something. That's right. Amen. Amen. So you, you accomplish what you tried to go at. Yeah. And this is why it's so important. And that's why I said, Lord, don't ever let me do stuff that doesn't have accomplishing. Yes. I don't oh, want to just good. do things Amen. to be doing it. That's but good. I want to see a manifested mm -hmm. signs mm -hmm. of accomplishment. Amen. Amen. Because you said so. And I have a right Amen. to claim it. Amen. Amen. I don't want to just you know, be what you would say normal. I want to press in. I want to see the accomplishings because of the signs. People yeah. be healed. Yeah. Undeniable that people say, well, you know what? They was healed. Why do you think people flock to Jesus? Because he was actually having yeah. miracles. Yes. Yeah. And people said, hey, get the family. Let's go. Yes. Yes. He's down at the corner. Get yeah. everybody. Yeah. Grab the guy on the street. Amen. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Y'all getting help? Yes. Yes. Let's go to one more scripture. Let's act 28.3. Now, it takes faith to be in some situations and we're going to look at this here we know Paul we remember Paul was he killed people for a living <laughs> he killed Christians I mean this is a real deal I mean and he really thought he was doing something for, for God yeah. I mean he was a sold out uh, person for God in his way yeah. he really thought I'm going to cleanse the world of these Christians yeah. because they're demonic they're full of the devil they don't have a God they, they, they don't worship the way we do and uh, I'm going to cleanse this place up. And he's out killing Christians. Yes. Now, 
If you're out killing Christians and then you become a Christian, <laughs> do you think you may have some regrets? <laughs> and maybe the devil used some things against you sure. to make you feel like, yeah, yeah, man, I killed these people. Yeah. And now I'm one of them. Yeah, And I, I, I feel bad. And, yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, yeah. think of the guilt <laughs> yeah. that would come with this burden. Yeah. Wow. I mean, the guilt yeah. of sure. killing people. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Of now that you are. Right. And now you're thinking, you know, I guarantee you he had to get up every day and speak to that guilt. Yeah. And say, I rebuke it. That's right. That's good. Yeah. I rebuke it. That's good. If you've done stuff stuff in your life that you can't change, yeah. you just say, Father, mm. I apologize. Right. Forgive me. Yeah. And the devil, of course you want to bring it up. Sure. But you have to say, you know what? I'm not. That's right. I'm not going to think about it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So we know Paul, even though they talk much about it as far as I know, that I guarantee you he dealt with that 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 right. guilt of killing people. Yeah. Uh -huh. Killing people. Amen. Amen. Okay, so Paul is now stranded on an island. I do believe that there's times in your life that you can't avoid a hardship. Yes. Sure, I would love to call a perfect life yes. where everything was just fluently fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the case. Right. You're going to have hardship. Right. You're going to have things you have to get through because that's what right. faith is for. Right. Yeah. 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 So Paul is now on the island of Malta. And uh, he's a minister, yeah. but he's working. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's doing some physical labor. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't hard for ministers to do some physical That's labor. That's right. Uh, Amen. We do it. And I do a lot of labor. I mean, I'm our maintenance guy at the church. I don't do, like, the cleaning of the church, but I'm doing everything else. Like, outside <laughs> and stuff, you know, I'm on the roof. I was on the roof last week and <laughs> spraying weeds last week and <laughs> pulling weeds last week and <laughs> washing stuff. I don't mind work. Work's good. That's right. Yeah. That's good. The Bible, you, you, you can go to Proverbs and it talks about work. That's right. <laughs> talks about a lot of work. That's right. Anyway, Amen. all right, this is totally off. Totally off. <laughs> but when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on a fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. <laughs> Now you think about that, a rattlesnake come up and bite you smooth on your hand. <laughs> Would you not have some thoughts? Yes. That's it. It's over. I'm going to die. And back then there's no cure. Right. Right. Yeah. So what did the natives say? So when the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, no doubt this man is a murderer whom though has... Has escaped the sea, so he's escaped the sea. Mm. I mean, he he's escaped, but yet justice does not allow him to live. Mm. So he's saying, you know what? He's getting what he's paying for. Mm. Yeah. He got bit, but he shook off the creature into the fire, and what? Suffered, Suffered no harm. harm. Amen. Suffered no harm. But what if he sat there and held his hand and just looked blank into the sky? <laughs> <laughs> what what would you think? Would you think maybe he's not a babe? Yeah. Maybe he's thinking about what's about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Don't feel funny. Yeah, I definitely feel funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling tingling. I'm feeling really tingling. Yeah, that's it. It's over. But he he remembered what Jesus said. Yes. No deadly thing yes. yeah. will come upon you. That's yeah. right. Well, Brother Zeman, why did the snake even bite him? I don't know. <laughs> Not my business. But it happened. That's right. Yeah. And what did he do? He just said, you know what? So then the So and then so let's go down here um, to five. But he shook off the creature into the fire and no no harm. Uh, however, they expecting that he would swell up and suddenly fall down dead. But after they had looked for him for a long time. And saw no harm come to him. They changed their minds. And said that he's a god. Yeah. So a minute ago, they're like, he's a murderer. He's going to die now. Actually, you know what? He's a god. Right. Definitely a god. Definitely a god. Definitely. Yep, it's him. And so, so we, we can see here that, that 
He is walking in that kind of faith that we need yes. to walk in. Yes. Yes. Things are going to happen in life. Viruses are going to come through. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. But no harm. Amen. No, no, harm. Harm. No, no harm. harm. No harm. No harm. You need to believe it, though. Yes. Yes. But brother, see if I don't believe it, then you better believe it. Then you better get in the Word yeah. and build your faith up yeah. to get there. That's right. Amen. 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 If you can't pick up 100 pounds, are other people picking up 100 pounds? Yes. 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 Why, why can't you? Because you haven't built yourself up enough. Right. Sure. You haven't built yourself up enough sure. to be able to pick up 100 pounds. Right. Sure. Right. Amen. Amen. You have to build up. You have to stress that heart, put some geeter in it. <laughs> put some put some off into things. Amen. 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 Not a lot of people like working out. I mean, I don't mind it, but I prefer not to. <laughs> Morgan enjoys it. She really does. She goes down, it's a social gathering, they get to work at the gym. But for me, you know, I work outside and that's kind of my my deal. You know, I work outside, I stay healthy that way. I stay 165, I'm feeling good. Yeah. But you know, but to but to stay fit, it takes work. Yeah, it, takes it takes work. And some of us are not, we can't just cut out food for a while and lose the weight. Some, some, some people, they got to have a whole life change. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. My dad, he, he would uh, he'd go on his diet. Oh my. I said, Doc, he had his diet. You know, he'd go on his diet. And then he'd lose a little bit of weight. And all of the diet did was allow him to gorge. <laughs> After he had lost the weight, and say, I've lost weight, I can eat what I want now. <laughs> but that's not true. That's not true. No, not true. It, 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 it was false. If you want to stay skinny, if you want to stay fit, it's a continuous flow. Yeah. Right. You know, he loved chocolate cake. He said, Oh man, I gave some. He goes, You know, burn, preaching burns X amount of calories. Burns a lot of calories. <laughs> and, you know, burning a lot of calories. And, uh, so I can eat this chocolate cake tonight. I said, you can't eat that chocolate cake. You can't eat that. He goes, yeah, I can. I said, he goes, Stevie, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't. And I found that my watch says different. My watch says, uh, all today I burned 136 calories. So I don't know where this preaching <laughs> balance of calories is coming in. But it was proof that it wasn't actually what he said it was because he was gaining weight. I said, Doc, you know, but if you want a, a, a continuous flow, I believe we have to take care of our, our, our bodies. Our bodies are a vessel for this world that we stay in, and you need to take care of it. If you're 600 pounds and you have knee, knee problems, yeah, I can guess why. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You don't need a rocket science. You know what? I want to be healed. Why? So you can continue doing what you're doing? Right. Oh, or do you need or do you really, really want help? Yes. Right. Because when you really want help, you're gonna really put down the flesh. Right. The Bible says don't be taken by gluttony. That's good. Yeah. Put down the fork. Yeah. Put it down. Yeah. And we see in this society obesity is a real problem. Yeah. And I see a lot of people go up for healing. Is there healing? Yes, but is there a part they need to play? Yes. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you want to continue growing your spirit, mm. we have to continuously be working it Amen. every day, yes. Amen. even if you don't feel like it. Yes. 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 But we have to continue because you may not need healing, but maybe somebody else does. Come on. Maybe yeah. someone else come does. On. Yeah. Maybe. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. Now, this evening, I will lay hands on the sick if you want me to. Mm -hmm. I will lay hands on the sick for this evening. Mm -hmm. I want you to go home today and really... Get before God, and if, if you need some things in your body straightened out, yeah. say, Father, I believe tonight when Brother Stephen lays hands on me, yes. I will be healed. Amen. Amen. I'll be healed. That's good. I'll be healed. That's good. Instead of just waiting for me and seeing what happens, yeah. right. there's a declaration you need to make. That's, right. that's good. That there becomes a point of contact. That's yes. good. Amen. Okay? Yeah. What did the lady say when, he, when she went up to touch his clothes? But if I just may touch, yeah. she made a declaration before yeah. she got there. Yeah. So I encourage you when you go home That's today, good. make a declaration and say, you know what? When Brother Stephen lay hands on me, now, I'll be here. I'll be here. That's good. good. Thank you, guys. I will see you guys in a couple hours. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Will you bless this yeah. morning? Yeah. Hallelujah. The word is always good, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's always good. Well, we're going to receive an offering for uh, Reverend Stephen Dufresne and for their, their ministry. And I want to read something to you before we do that. 
You know, the world has a good, the world and a lot of Christians have a wrong concept about offerings, especially for ministers. Right. I saw something on social media, which was not surprising, a lot of craziness on social media, yeah. where a church that we know of had an associate pastor and they took an offering up to send this pastor who probably had, you know, was sacrificed a lot working for the Lord to send his family to Disneyland. And I'm sure they'll be able to get there because it'll probably open again eventually, right? right. Um, and somebody somebody made a comment. Now this is on at some other church. Someone made a comment like, "Well, well, our church, your church must be rich. Our church, when we receive a generous offering, we give it to the poor and less fortunate." And so that's basically kind of saying, it kind yeah. of in a nice way, like really, you know, really should a church be, be taking an offering up to send somebody to, uh, you know, for a vacation yes. or something like that. Now we're not taking an offering up to send them for a vacation, but there'd be nothing wrong. There would be nothing wrong that's yes. right. that's right. with that. Here's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Here's what the Bible says. And I was so tempted to say something, I mean, I'm not getting in, it's not my business, you know, it's like. Keep your own backyard clean, as your dad used to say. You know? yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. Before you worry about someone else's backyard. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 9, says, For it is written in the law of Moses, You shall not muzzle an ox while it treads out the grain or the corn. Is it oxen God is concerned about? Uh, or does he say it all together for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt. Now, this is Paul writing to the Church of Corinth. He's saying, really, this verse in the Old Testament, when you look it up, the context, really, it was talking about oxen. It wasn't talking about preachers or anything like that. But Paul, by the Holy Ghost, is saying, really, it's not that God's all that concerned about the ox. Right. You know, the ox treading out the corn, they've got, let's say, some sort of a stone that's, milling the corn, and they got the oxen hooked up to it, you know, and he's, you know, <laughs> walking around and around and around and around and turning that, turning the uh, millstone. And so if you were cheap, if you were like a cheap, uh, yeah. Yeah. you know, if you're the owner of the oxen, right. you, you know, you're the owner of the field, and you're cheap, you're thinking, hey, if I don't muzzle that ox, he's going to eat half the corn. Mm. But in the Old Testament, don't muzzle the ox. Why? Because the ox is working, and if right. he's hungry, That's he's right. able to eat right. from part of the labor of that right. work, even though the ox is owned by somebody else. Right. Now it says here, is it for, uh, for our, it's, he says, for our sakes, no doubt this is written, that he who plows, and plowing burns a lot of calories. <laughs> he who plows <laughs> should plow in hope. He who threshes uh, in hope should be a partaker of his hope. If we have sown spiritual things for you, is it a great thing that we reap your material things? If others are partakers of this right over you, are we not even more? Nevertheless, we have not used this right, but endure all things. You, know, you could misuse any principle. But Paul's saying, we haven't, uh, we haven't used this right, but endure all things, lest we hinder the gospel of Christ. Do you not know that those who minister the holy things eat of the things of the temple, and those who serve at the altar partake of the offerings of the altar? Even so, the Lord has commanded. Everyone say commanded. Commanded. It didn't say he suggested. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if you'd like to. The Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel, mm -hmm. not those who occasionally preach the gospel, those that is their calling right. to preach the gospel, the Lord has commanded that they should live yeah. from the gospel. Amen. So Amen. Uh, part of living is paying your bills. Amen. Part of living is buying toilet paper. Yeah. Part of living is taking a vacation. Those that, you know, part of living is getting your hair cut. Yeah, amen. And doing all the things of life that we all do. But those that, now there are seasons where God has someone, you know, pioneering. Someone who's bivocational. But 
you know, Powell, if you're bivocational after 30 years in the same place, right. you're probably not called. Yeah. Right. It's one thing if you go in an area and you're pioneering, you work a secular job for six months or a year, maybe, maybe even longer, but eventually, yeah. Right. Yeah. eventually, you should be sustained by that because that is what God has commanded. Yes. It's what God has ordained. Amen. That those who, in other words, there is a supply and it's not diminishing from the missionaries or from all the other things. So we have an opportunity Amen. to be a blessing Amen. to Reverend Stephen. I even said, little sister Morgan just came. She just, she, you know, we, we want her to be able to say something too. Amen. But we'll just see. We did invite Brother Stephen, so we don't, you know. <laughs> but we're, hey, they're both here. What a blessing. What a blessing. But we can, now we can be a blessing yeah. to them. Amen. So I encourage you to be generous. We are a generous church, and Amen. I would like them to just be really blessed. Amen. You know? Amen. And I know God would. And Amen. I know when we give, I love, I love giving to people. Amen. I love, I mean, I love personally giving to people, but I love for our church yeah. to be able to bless people, yeah. to help people, to sow into other ministries. And I just, Amen. I've always liked doing Amen. that. I mean, I've just always been that kind of person. And I think that's why the Lord's helped us to do what we've been able to do with what we have and who, and who we have, you know. Amen. We're a generous church, so let's just, let's sow some seed. We are sowing, Amen. we're sowing into someone's ministry. Yes. Amen. And see, one of the reasons why, well, the Lord put on my heart to invite uh, Reverend Stephen to come and minister, but I know that, and I know he likes doing building stuff. Yeah. You know, I know he likes, and I do. I, I mean, I've been here a lot the last few weeks, way more than normal, doing building stuff. Yeah. Um, but there's going to come a point in time where you're not going to be doing, very, you're going to be doing less and less and less and less, even though it'll be such a temptation because it's sometimes easier and more gratifying to go and do the building stuff because it's yeah. just, it's nice to just see the transformation. Yeah. I, I mean, I really like that. Because some things, you're doing the, the Word, you're doing the Word, you're doing the Word, and you're looking for the transformation. But when you right. paint a wall, when you do this, you do yeah. that, there's the transformation. And it's just like kind of like, ha, huh, yeah. I accomplished something. Yeah. Ministry sometimes, you know, that's why you need to pray for ministers. Sometimes a minister could look around <laughs> and they can just feel like they're not making, yeah. right. yeah. they're not making headway. So when you cut your grass... I like cutting my grass. You know why? Because when I get done cutting my grass, I can just sit on my deck and I can look at my grass and think, my grass looks really nice. And sometimes when you preach a message and you look at the people, they don't look any different. So then I go home and cut my grass. So anyway, I'm giving you a little, I don't know, I don't know if you're like that, but I mean, that's the way I am. So I like to see, I, I mean, who doesn't like to see results? Yeah. So if you need, need an offering envelope, raise your hand. Yeah. Really, everybody, scripturally, I, mean, I don't want to put anyone under pressure if you're visiting, you know. You're under no obligation to give as far as by us. But the Bible says when someone sows spiritual things to you, Amen. then you are supposed to sow financial things to them. That's what the, I mean, that is, that's what the Bible teaches. You know, most churches, most churches don't even take care of their pastors. Because yeah. they think, oh, we pay a salary to our pastor. If you don't ever bless your pastor, mm -hmm. you don't ever bless a guest minister, right. you're hearing the word, you're hearing the word, you're hearing the word, well, then you're not really acting on the word because right. it says right. when someone sows spiritual things right. to you, right. spiritual yeah. things are more valuable than financial things. Right. Right. Well, so when someone sows into you spiritually, they can change your life. Then yeah. our response is not say, thanks for the great message, Pastor. Yeah. I was really blessed. Our response is to bless them yeah. financially. Yeah. And that never really goes over big, but it's that's it's what the Bible is. It's it's that's a key. Blessed. That is a big key to prospering. Yeah. It's kind of like if you go to a restaurant, you pay mm -hmm. for the food. Even if it wasn't cooked exactly right, mm -hmm. you pay for the food. Yeah. Yeah. Right? right? It's part of the deal. Yeah, right. right. I mean, you, you, you know, most places, fast food, you got to pay before you eat the food. Yeah, true. But other places, you don't pay until after you eat the food. What if you eat the food and say, well, I don't really feel like I should have to pay for this. <laughs> well, you know, the fact that you ate the food, right. you're supposed to pay. Yeah. Right. Well, you know what? Did you eat any spiritual food today? Yes. Yeah. Guess what? Okay. You're supposed to pay. 
Say, well, what am I supposed to pay? We don't have a list. We don't have a, you know, we don't have like a menu with the prices. Well, if you really got blessed, then give this much. If you kind of got blessed, give that much. If you kind of like average blessing, give You know, you've got to just seek the Lord. you got to just ask God, like say, Lord, what should I give? And don't start, well, is it a dollar, two dollars, three dollars? Why don't you just start high? Yeah, should I give a thousand dollars? Some people wouldn't start that high. No, right. You should just ask God, but then look in your heart, say, yeah. what kind of seed do I want to come back to That's me? Good. That's good. I mean, what would really bless me if someone came up to me and gave me that? That's what would good. really bless me? Oh. Well, I mean, it might be a blessing to have someone give you $5, but you know what? You're not going to be just going, wow, someone gave me $5. <laughs> <laughs> you can go out and buy a cup of coffee. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, not a not a large, right? I mean, I'm not, you know, you know what I mean. So anyway, just be obedient to the Lord. So if you're giving, uh, you need an envelope. Raise your hand. Did everybody get one? Yes. Yeah. Everybody got your check made out. Make it out to Abundant Life. We're going to give them one large check in the name of Jesus. One large check. Large check in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, if you can't get excited about money. That money is your God. Come on. Amen. Oh, that's right. Come on. I mean, about giving. That's right. That's right. You're either serving God or you're serving money. Amen. So I, I don't know about you, but I'm serving God. And we have we have projects going on, and we, which we'll talk about later. But whenever we have a speaker, whatever we have going, whatever's going on, or whatever we got to pay this or that, we just forget all of it temporarily. Not, not long, but temporarily. <laughs> not get our mind on that because we now we're going to take care of other business. Amen. And then later on, we'll jump back in and take care of everything Amen. else. Amen. That's just the way we've always done it, and it always works. Amen. Amen. So are you ready to give? Why don't you stand up? Amen. Ushers, come up and receive this offering. And we're going to pray over it. Thank you, Brother Stephen, Amen. for coming Amen. and ministering to us, I'm yes. sure. You know, I, got, I saw his first message. I, I, I watched the first message you ever preached was I was with your dad and he was at the Everleys. Pastor Nancy too, we and Pastor, and Pastor Nancy was there too. Right. So we all watched it together. They put it on the screen after the service and we watched and you, to see the look on your dad's face. Yeah. I mean, he was so excited. Yeah. And so we, we saw that. And so I, maybe the Lord let him look down, you know, yeah. and, and see today. But I know he's, he's proud. I know he's excited yeah. and proud. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And we're, we're blessed to have you here. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I don't want to get emotional. <laughs> Father, we thank you. We thank you for uh, Reverend Stephen and Pastor Morgan. We thank you for their family. We thank you for the, the whole Dufresne family, uh, for, for our connection. We thank you, Lord, that we can sow into this mystery and, to, and into them personally. Uh, and Lord, we thank you that as we give, it's given unto us good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Lord, with the measure that we have met, with the love we have met, with the sacrifice, with the actual measure, that it is being measured to us. And we declare that we have more than enough for every good work with plenty left over. Lord, we thank you that you are our source, that you are a good God. We thank you for a good offering, but we thank you that we are blessed because we've been obedient. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Tonight is at 6 p.m., so you have time to go home, rest, get some fellowship, but don't stay out too late, get some food, and then get back here, be ready, invite some people. Amen. We got, we got plenty of room, and, and if we fill up what we have here, we got more chairs. Amen. So let's uh, let's fill this place up. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Well, God bless you all. Thank you for coming. We love you, and we'll see you tonight. Amen.